Hey everybody and welcome to it. Today we are going to be going over what is on my Apple Watch and basically just the apps that I use, how I use it day to day, maybe to help you out if you're considering getting an Apple Watch or if you already have one, how you can get more use out of it. So for starters, I have the Apple Watch Series 6, the newest one that just came out. I'm really hoping for a Series 7 to come out soon. I saw like a leaked picture of what they could look like and they kind of had like the square edges that the new iPhone 12s had. So I thought that was really interesting. Obviously that could have been edited or faked. <laughs> but I'm really hopeful that they will come out with another one soon. I'm ready for a new little look to the Apple Watch. Anyways, Series 6, I have the 40 millimeter. Then I have this watch band from the Apple's website and this solo braided loop one also from the Apple website. That's what it looks like. So I only have like two watch bands for this watch, but I think I read somewhere that my old ones would still work on this one too. I just haven't tried it out because I like this one so much. Anyways, here is my lock screen right now. It's really really cute. I designed it myself. Um, it's on my website if you are interested in getting the same wallpaper. And on my little screen, I have the battery's percentage, the time, and the date. I also really like the watch face that is the numerals in these really cute colors. You can really change the colors of those to anything. And then just the modular one, but I created my own, obviously, because it's really cute. Anyways, I will just go over some of the reasons why I like my Apple Watch and just how I use it. First, I love using it just for notifications throughout the day if I ever don't have my phone on me and it's across the room or like let's say I'm in the middle of cleaning the house and my phone is in the kitchen but I am in the bathroom washing the toilet or something and somebody tries to call me I can get the call and either answer it or go find my phone to answer it without missing the call because normally I would have completely missed the call if my phone rang and I didn't have the Apple Watch because I normally don't have my ringer on <laughs> basically I just love it for message notifications also because if I don't have my phone or if I am doing something where I'm not supposed to have my phone with me, I can still get some texts from my phone onto my Apple Watch and just read them really quickly. Another thing that I like to use it for are my alarms in the morning. I had just tried this out last night actually and I really like it and will be continuing to do it. I'm a pretty light sleeper so most things wake me up so I wasn't too nervous about this not waking me up but if you are a bit of a heavy sleeper I believe there's also a way that you can turn the sound on on the alarm and it can ring on your Apple Watch. But anyways basically what it did this morning is I set a timer for me to wake up at like 8 15 and it just starts like slowly if I vibrating on your wrist a little bit to kind of wake you up. So I thought that was really cool. And then obviously another reason I like it is because it's an Apple product, I love Apple products, but it's an Apple product that I can wear constantly to see the time instead of having a normal watch. So if you're looking for a digital watch that does more than just be a little watch that tells you the time, this is my favorite option. Obviously there's also Fitbits and stuff out there if that's the route you want to go. But as I said, I love Apple, so of course I have to have the Apple watch. <laughs> so yeah, just being able to tell the time and the date really quickly on my wrist is helpful too. But now let's flip it over and I will show you my favorite apps and uses for my Apple watch. <laughs> All right, so here's my Apple Watch. So cute. And with some new update, it's always asking for the passcode whenever it's not on your wrist. So here is what my little app thing looks like. Also, really quickly, um, here's what this little thing looks like. If you don't have an Apple Watch and you're not familiar with it, you can use this button to find your phone. So it just pinged my phone, as you heard. There's a theater mode so that your Apple Watch kind of dims down whenever you're in a movie theater. You don't disturb, all these good stuff. This little thing, if your Apple Watch does get wet, you can turn the dial like this. Oh. And it plays a little sound to get the um, water out of the speakers. All right, so back to our little app circle. First off, we're gonna start off strong <laughs> with Snake Yo. It's basically, it's just a little fun game where you're a worm and you have to try and get all- ah! Oh, I just killed that guy. And you have to use the little dial to try and get all these little dots. Eh. It's a lot harder than it looks, honestly. And I spend way too much time doing this, so we are going to kill ourselves so we can get off of this before I get sucked in this app. <laughs> So that's just a fun little thing that I like to just waste my time on if I'm ever like waiting in line for a roller coaster or something, just like a random little app like that. Next up, I like to have my reminders app. My reminders on my phone, keep a to-do list on the reminders on my phone and it shows as a widget on my home screen and then on my Apple Watch, I can go and check and see. So film video, that's what we're doing right now. So we'll check it off for now. And there we go. You can make them all cute. So we're gonna make a new one and we'll say edit. Vid oops. 
made a video. So we just made a new little reminder on my to-do list to edit this video later. <laughs> so I have my Starbucks app on here where I can pay with my Apple Watch in the store. So I can just hold this up and scan it at Starbucks, so I think that's really nice. Next up, another game. I have way too many games on here. So we're playing air hockey. Ah. Ah. Oh, okay. So you get the gist. That one is called air hockey wear. There's a FedEx one where I can quickly track packages and stuff. This one is a stress meter. So, I don't know. I guess I had five hours ago I had excessive strain on my body. It didn't really do anything. Um, we detected that I was stressed five hours ago. Um, interesting. That one is just called AI Stress Monitor and it's on the App Store, but there's also a spot in the Health app also that you can track that with. I have the Shazam um, thing because you can play a song and tap this and and what it does is like scans a song in the room, you know, and then it'll tell you what it's called. So if you ever nonchalantly want to know the name of a song that's playing somewhere, but you don't want to ask someone, I like this app for that. This one was supposed to be really fun. It's like one that you can monitor your sleep and whenever you're like snoring or something, it'll start recording. So if you like sleep talk and say something silly, it'll record it. But I tried doing it last night and found out that you have to pay for the one on your watch. They do have it on the phone though, and you don't have to pay for the phone, which I did it last night, but I had my box fan on, so it just registered that as like nine hours of straight snoring, so it didn't really do anything beneficial, but it's a kind of a fun app if you're interested. I would just look up Sleep Recorder. And then I have Duo Mobile because for my college, we have to have like a two-factor authentication or authorization um, to be able to sign into our canvas and stuff like that so it's nice to have it on my watch because I can quickly just tap yes on my watch instead of having to get on my phone. Another really fun way that I love to use my Apple Watch is maps whenever I'm driving. So what it will do is just buzz your wrist whenever there's a turn or if she like wants to tell you that you have to go on an exit in 10 miles or something it'll give you a quick little instructions on your Apple Watch which is really nice sometimes so I don't have to look down at my phone it's just all on my watch so I obviously don't get distracted while I'm driving another one that I've been liking recently is sleep so I set up on the health app in my phone and I can track my sleep data so last night it tracked that I fell asleep at 11.35 and woke up at 8.16, so I got 8 hours and 41 minutes of sleep. Sometimes it's kind of hard to have this on at night because I usually charge my Apple Watch during the night, but what I've started to do is wear it overnight and then charge it for maybe 30 minutes in the morning as I'm getting ready, and then put it on. So I can set a bedtime and a wake up time, and then that will sometimes set off the alarm and everything. So I just think it's fun to see my sleeping patterns eventually after I do it for a couple weeks. it'll give me some more in-depth analytics. Next, the activity rings. Everybody loves these. I know lots of people on TikTok talk about how they like have to finish and close their rings every day, and that is not the case for me. I think I've just accepted the fact that I'm not going to be closing my rings every day. <laughs> but basically, there's a move ring, an exercise ring, and a standing ring, and there it is. So, <laughs> I've only taken 2,000 steps today. I have not done much today. Um, but that's the way you do that. The only thing that I do have a complaint about for the Apple Watch is that you can't see your step like count straight on the watch face. There might be able to with like an external app, but whenever I go to create a watch face, I'm not finding my step count in the options for like um, like on this part because I know you can get the activity watch face, but I want something that obviously like looks cute and aesthetic and is not the one with the rings on it. <laughs> um, the workout app, here's all the types of workouts that you can do with the Apple Watch. So I like to set one of these whenever I'm obviously about to do anything of the sort. And then it tracks it and gives you like a little results page at the end of like how many calories you burned and what distance you went and it's really nice. Now let me go over to the Apple Watch app on my phone and show you a little bit about how to like make watch faces really quick. So here's the Apple Watch app on the phone. So it shows you all the options that you already have, but let's go to the face gallery so I can show you what options do you have right off the bat. So you can see there's all these fun ones and you can usually change the colors on a lot of them. They have a lot of different options. Um, the, oh, this one's kind of fun. It shows the weather, I don't know, an emoji. 
Um, here's the numerals duo, and you can literally go in and change the colors as you see. Oh, that one is so cute. So I think I have mine as like one of these um, light pinks down here. Yeah, the pink sand, yep. Any of those are so cute. Um, then you can make a photos one. That's what I love. And yeah, so you get the idea. Oh, those are cute too. But you can also do one with photos from your camera roll, which is always my favorite option. I like to have a cute one and then others like with pictures of my boyfriend and I or my dog. <laughs> um, you can choose what kind of notifications you want and how you want them to be sent to your Apple Watch. You can also choose your app view if you want it to be a list view or if you want it to be all those little bubbles that you saw on mine. The Apple Watch, when you first open it, it'll come with the sound on, but I like to turn sound off because it's sometimes obnoxious and not every setting you're in can have alerts. So I like to have it on silent mode where it just gives you the little buzz whenever you're going to and you can change the two different types of buzzes. So you kind of heard that. So here's the default. Prominent default. And then in all the apps there's obviously so many things that you can do. So for my messages I can change it to be a little different if I wanted. And then down here it's going to show me all the different apps that I could download on my Apple Watch but I haven't. Um, I don't think I need any of those on my watch so I'm not going to download any. And then whenever I'm looking for apps for the Apple Watch I literally just look up Apple Watch apps. And there's usually so many different options, like ping pong. One where you can track how much water you're drinking and remind you to take drinks of water all the, throughout the day. All these fun apps. So that's a good option. And then another thing that I like to do whenever I'm looking for some Apple Watch apps is literally just kind of what you guys probably did to find this video, is to just look up what's on my Apple Watch or best watch apps for Apple Watches. And lots of people usually have some good recommendations as well. Obviously, I can't show you every single app out there. Um, I'm just showing you literally the ones that I use every day. <laughs> I also have the YouTube app on here, so it was fun. In the beginning days, it would alert me for like every subscriber that I had when I had the Apple Watch Series 3. But yeah, overall, I don't use my Apple Watch a lot, but I do use it for certain things. I'm definitely also trying to get into working out more, so I want to use it a lot more for workout, tracking all that, and just keeping myself motivated with this. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, please let me know below. I'm also going to probably go on Amazon and order some accessories for these and do like an Apple Watch accessories haul from Amazon so that you guys can see what products are out there for Apple Watches and review them and tell you what ones are worth it and which ones aren't. So make sure you subscribe and stick around for that video whenever it comes sometime this summer. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.